It's Saturday, day 11 of my tour. Today we're still in Marissa, so we're just going to wander around the town. Tomorrow we go to Bentota. As you can see, it's a beautiful day again, no rain again. So that's 11 days or 13 days altogether I've been in Sri Lanka, no rain, quite warm today. It's about, going to be about 30 degrees, but it's not a cloud in the sky. Saturday morning, just travelling through Marissa. And we just stopped at this Buddhist temple. It's another beautiful day today. Please come in the background. Just looking around this Buddhist temple with a little music in the background, a little drums. And So we go from the stupa here to the place of worship and then the standing Buddha in the background. over in the background where the blue flag is. the drummers. <laughs> 400, 500 years ago, where people are making their offerings to the temple. Someone blessing all the food and the offerings. So next to the temple is this elephant, quite a big one. I don't know what his what purpose is, but he's here. According to Nahut, this female elephant is 27 years old. Just looking straight at me at the moment. He's never feeding the elephant. A whole bunch of bananas.
Oh, that's his breakfast. He's just eating these palm leaves down here at his feet. It's chained, so it doesn't wander all over the temple. Or inside the temple. Goes for a walk early in the morning, apparently, and late in the afternoon, my hood takes it. Oh. Just mentioned that every country I've been to has a distinctive smell. When you walk around the streets, it's the same smell. And Sri Lanka's just like the other countries, has a very strong smell. And I'm thinking maybe it comes from these trees here. The university grounds in front we're allowed to go in because there's the university. There's some cricket tournament on. You can see everyone standing on the boundary line in the background. Teams warming up. Cricket's taken really seriously in Sri Lanka. about 100 metres down here there's, there's a cafe walking down the back streets of behind the hotel it's very similar to how Bali used to be with high fences and narrow roads trying to find a roti shop I think I found it looks like it's on that sign pretty shopping guest house and here's the number one roti shop down this lane Today's specials. So tonight's dinner is prawn, egg and cheese roti, which is like a pizza. About past six and just heading back to my room. There's a hotel where I'm staying, across the road from the beach as I've said many times before. And my room is up there on the third floor in the corner. Beautiful swimming pool right in the centre. Back towards the beach, that's the restaurant upstairs. The swimming pool in the foreground, my rooms are up above where I'm standing. Beautiful hotel, great service, very friendly. Could recommend it highly. Size bed here, or the single bed. 